Hey, what's up, family? It's Coach Josh, and in this video, we're going to talk about nine reasons why God hasn't answered your prayers yet. But before we get into point number one, if you haven't already yet, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with someone that you think will benefit from this video. Let's get right into point number one. Point number one is this. He loves you. God loves you too much to give you something he knows will hurt you. God's a loving God. He knows everything. He knows whether or not you're ready or the thing you're asking for is ready. And he knows what will hurt you. Some of the things that we're asking God for, we're not mature enough to manage. And if we're not mature enough to manage, we'll cause it some damage. And so God is saying, I love you. I know what's best for you. Number two, reason why um, God has the answer to your pressure is because it's outside of his timing. God's timing is perfect. We all heard the song that says he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. God is late for a reason. God is late because he knows for your expectations, he has to elevate it to a place where you understand why it is delayed. A lot of people are not disciplined enough mentally to understand why things are delayed. Things are delayed for your development. So God's timing is so perfect because he wants you to make you the perfect person for the perfect thing at the right time for you guys to have it. And so a lot of us, we got to be patient. We got to say, God, I trust your timing. I may want it right now, but God, I trust your omniscience. I trust your omnipresence. I trust that you know everything. Therefore, I trust your timing. The number three reason why God hasn't answered our prayers yet is because it's not in his will for our lives. God's will should be the place where we desire to be. God's will should be where we endeavor um, to thrive. See, it's not just part, it's not just, it's not in God's will for you. And you have to be okay with God's will. See, in order for you to have or to see or to be in God's will, you got to give God the will to your life. And you got to trust that he knows where he's taking you. Some things was just never meant for you. That man just wasn't meant for you. That girl was just not meant for you. That college, that city, whatever it is, that career path was not in God's will for your life. You will only experience ultimate success when you're in, inside God's best will for you. The number four reason why God hasn't answered your prayer yet is because you're praying with the wrong motives. The Bible says when you ask, you ask and miss to consume it of your own lust. You have the wrong motive. We don't understand how desperately wicked our hearts are. The reason why we want some things is not for, for the purposes of God. It's not for the glory of God. It's for the glory of ourselves. It's for us to consume it with our own lust. The reason why God is not answering that prayer about that husband, that wife, that whatever it is that you want, because he knows your motives are not genuine. God is not going to move you towards something he knows your motives are not right for. The next reason why God hasn't answered your prayers yet is because of unconfessed sins or unrepentant sins. God is waiting for you to confess that unforgiveness right now. God is waiting you, waiting for you to confess that, that insecurity right now. Because anything unconfessed, God can't give you his best. God wants you to confess out of your mouth. Confession out of the mouth is the fruit of a renewed mind. When your mind has been renewed and you realize this thing is keeping you from being made new, then you'll be through with it. You'll get rid of it because you know for a fact that this practice of this unrepentant, unconfessed sin will hinder me from winning. You can't win with sin. You got to look inside of the sin to see what is it in it that's keeping you from winning. So you got to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal inside of you what unconfessed sin in my life, unrepented sin in my life that's keeping me from living God's abundant life, that's keeping me from my prayers being answered. Another reason why God is uh, another reason why God has answered your prayers simply you haven't asked him. <laughs> what are you afraid for? What are you afraid of? God says, ask me. Ask me to see uh, uh, what it is that I have for you. Some of our prayers, we are afraid to pray. We are afraid to ask because we don't think that we're uh, worthy enough. We don't think that we're his child. Like, like, like my daughter can ask me for anything when she gets of age, of course. Like, ask me anything. And if I know what's best for you, then I will give what's best for you. And, and if it's not ready for you, then I, I will articulate the reasons why it's not the timing for you. But don't be afraid to ask. Ask God um, for that uh, promotion. Ask him what his thoughts are about where you are in your sickness. Ask him. Because you'll be surprised that the reason why you may not have that answer prayer, because you simply haven't even asked in prayer. Another reason why God hasn't answered our prayers yet is because God is waiting for obedience. 
The Bible says, man, the Bible talks about obedience in a lot of different ways. When we get our lives in order, things get in order. When we follow the principles of God, things are coming down the path of God to us. We have to be in obedience. We have to be in compliance. We got to be in a place where we allow Jesus to be the Lord of our lives and say, Father, whatever you have for me, I'll do it. Whatever you want me to do, I'll obey. If you want to follow the way, you got to obey. If you want the things of God, if you want the best from God, you got to be in obedience. God is not going to bless someone who is out of compliance, is out of obedience, that's living their own life, who's not allowing Christ to be Lord over theirs. And the last reason, oh, actually, I got two more. Another reason why God has to answer your prayers, I uh, think number eight, God has something better. <laughs> I know you're looking at that man right now, looking at that woman right now, looking at the situation, whatever it is you're looking at, and you're like, man, this must be God's best. The reason why we don't believe God has what's best for us, because we don't really know him. We don't really know what it's like to be children. That's why the devil is after the fathers, because the father was supposed to be the in-home representation of God the father. And if the father in the home is not good, then it will warp the worldview of the child making a child believe that God ain't worthwhile, that God is not there, that God is not sufficient enough in his grace to be able to help along this race, right? But you got to believe that God has something better. Listen, it's, the, the issue is not the difference between bad and good. The issue is between good and God. See, there's going to be a lot of good things that, that are comparable, that, that, that can actually work. There's a, there are certain people that you can marry right now that will actually work. There are certain situations you could be in that will actually work, but it's not God's best. There's a big difference between God's perfect will and God's permissible will. God will permit it because it's your free will. But those who wait still will get God's perfect will. And so what you got to say is, God, is this what's best for you? Because I promise you, nobody on this planet who've ever lived had regrets when God gave them their, his, uh, his best. No one ever regretted God's best. The issue is, are you willing to put the good down for the God thing? Are you willing to get, a, get away from the good thing and to get the God thing? God has something better. So what you're praying for right now, you may be like, man, could this be it? And God said, man, no eye have seen, no ear has heard to those what he's willing to give to those that love him. And God has, God wants to give you his best. So if you see something that you pray for in a premature time, realize that ain't, if it ain't got in God's time, it ain't yours to have. Last but not least, another reason why God hasn't answered your prayers yet is because you want the answered prayer more than you want the one who you want to answer it. The reason why God ain't answered prayers because God says, man, you don't even want me. You don't even want me. God said, do you want me? Everything that God has is behind his back. He put his hand behind his back where his heart is. And he said, if you want what's in my hand, you have to go through my heart. Are you a man or woman after my own heart? Do you love me more than the answer prayer? Because God knows your motive. Because a lot of us will take what God gives us and run with it. We'll leave God. We'll say, God, thank you. We're going. Versus we'll be like the uh, uh, the 10 lepers and, and the other nine lepers. Some of us will, will get the healing. We'll get the blessing and we'll walk on. But there's is one out of every 10 people, possibly, if we look at the mathematics, are willing to turn around and say, God, I thank you for the miracle. A lot of us are like the nine. We'll just keep walking. I'm leopard free. I'm debt free. I'm relationship. I'm in a relationship right now. I'm singleness free. And then you'll go on about your uh, merry way. But there are some people that says, I just want to say thank you. God is saying, if you want to answer prayer more than you want the one to answer it, then chances are I'm not going to answer it. These nine reasons are the possible reasons why God has answered your prayers. Number one, um, he loves you. Number two, it's outside of his timing. Number three, it's not in his will for your life, meaning you, you're just not going to get it from him because it's not yours. Uh, number Next one, you're praying wrong with the wrong motives. Next, you have unconfessed or unrepentant sin. Next, you just didn't simply ask, or God is waiting for obedience. God has something better, or you want the answered prayer more than you want the one that answers. Now, there, come, there could be some situation where God says, you know what, you keep asking. And you keep begging for it. I'm going to let you have it. And when I answer your prayer and you realize that ain't really what you want, you have to suffer the consequences for it. When you go and pray before God, go with a pure heart and say, God, what is the real reason why I don't have it in my life? Another reason that just came to my mind right now, the reason why God has answered your prayer because you're not prepared enough for the prayer. Instead of praying for it, prepare for it. A lot of people are turning their waiting room and they're, they're living in their waiting room. They're not turning that waiting room into a working room. A lot of people are asking God, but God, I please, can I have this, man? Can I be in a marriage? Can I be in a relationship? Can I asking God for all these things they're not prepared for? God will not allow you to catch something 
something that you don't match. You have to match it before you catch it. Before God throws you, you got to be able to know how to catch. But if you can't match, you won't catch. And God said, man, prepare for the prayer. Some of us, we need to stop praying for things and prepare for the things. We got to say, you know, I ain't going to pray about this no more because I trust God. Now, I understand there's going to be some moments in time where you're going to be praying multiple times because your faith ain't at that level. But the more you begin to fellowship with God and you begin to see how kind and gentle and how great he is, then you are trusting with that prayer. Some things I only pray one time. Because I trust him that much. Some things I don't even pray more, more than one time. Because I already trust him with it. I pray, I petition one time. And then in the meantime, I prepare for it. And I trust his perfect timing for it. I pray this video was a blessing to you. I really hope you're assessing your prayer life. I hope you're really assessing your motives. I really hoping that you're not drifting away from God. Because God hasn't um, brought things your way. Or things have been delayed. Trust God's heart. Trust God's timing and trust that God has what's best for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you uh, benefited from it, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like, share this with somebody. Also, check out the links in the description box below. I have a ton of books and resources that I think will benefit you. One book that I think will benefit you is Counterfeit or Counterpart. In that book, I talk about a lot of ways that God confirms his things for your life. I talk about how to test things to see if it's God's best thing, right? So make sure you check out Counterfeit or Counterpart and other books and resources. So if you want to support what I do on this channel, go ahead and uh, check out my website in the link description box below. Uh, we appreciate your generosity in advance. I love you all. Y'all be blessed. Catch y'all next time. Peace.